welcome back to the Resident Evil playthrough. I forgot to record audio, and I already recorded this, so I know what the fuck I'm doing. I got the Death Mask 2 and the Wind Token, or whatever it was called. So I'll just speedrun through this. I was talking about this part where music and uh, games like affect it so much. Like, uh... I'll show you an example. Up here. In this room. There's, uh... The music in here f makes you feel like you're being watched, right? And that's how strong music is in games, because I, I fucking hate this music right here. If the, this music wasn't here, I would feel safe. And the fucking, um... Uh, the fixed camera in this game is also really good, too. The controls are... I don't like the controls that much, but the fucking... The way the fixed cameras are placed, because when there's like a hall, and there's like a... Ca the fixed camera is placed outside a window, so it makes you feel like you're being watched. And that... Oh man, that... It's really cool, but terrifying at the same time. I'm actually gonna do it better this time, because I almost died by a fucking bee. So I'm gonna prevent that, and I got severely hurt by crows. Chase them. That was not part of the plan. He's dead now. I wasted a taser like a fucking fool. I know what I'm doing in this puzzle. So this one has to be. color has to be green. That was the other side. And press here, then the wall opens up and there's a thing you get out there, a mask. Unlock this door. Go through it there. Grab that mask. You know what? I think I'm actually gonna go a little longer because I already know what I'm doing. Most of my time is spent on this puzzle, anyways. Fuck you, crows. You ain't buying me today. I have not. I went through the wrong door. I haven't experienced that yet. That actually scared the shit out of me because I didn't know that that was gonna happen. I was focusing on talking, so I. Oh. Jesus Christ, that fucking scared me. Oh. Oh, Jesus. You don't know how much that fucking scared me. I don't think I'm gonna go to sleep tonight. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Hearing that intense music play and that fucking window crash and something walking. Jesus Christ, man. I didn't burn that zombie's body. I'll worry about that later. So you go in here and Barry's in here. Who could have known? It's Barry! Ah! Jill. Barry, I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. Anyway, you should read this. Researcher's will. The letters slipped inside the top part of the letters. The letters torn off. The rest of the letters legible. Alma. 
I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delayed the inevitable. I'm infected, and there's no cure for what I will f for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separ separates me from them, my love for you. And now we're, I've entered the eternal sleep where there's peace. Please understand. Please know that I'm sorry. Martin Craghorn. What do you make of it? Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. You have a way with understatements. Where's the part that's torn off? Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part, and somebody didn't want anyone to see it. Let's continue our investigation. I have no idea where the fuck it goes after this. So anyways, you need to grab this bee. You have to grab this hook. Not that, this hook. Then I fucked this up. Usually want to grab that imitation bee, but I fucked it up. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'll be right back. Man, I haven't been sc scared like that in a horror game in a fucking long ass time. So anyways, you get this bee, right? And you put a hook on it. You put the hook on it, and you put the actual bee here. Put the actual B here. I keep pressing the switch like an idiot. And you put the other B here. And press the switch. No, no. And as soon as you fucking try to take that, that B will become. Will come back to life. And it takes like four knife hits to kill. So I'm gonna try to shoot it. And Jill freaks out even though it's not even near her. So you run back here. Bam. Dead. It's a waste of a bullet, but I don't give a shit. That bee literally made me almost die. I was one hit from death. I have no defense items, so if I get grabbed, um, I'm taking damage. There's a large scratch in this wall. It doesn't look like the work of those rotting freaks. Wh where's the scratch? Oh, over here. I haven't went this door yet, so I don't know what's in it. Uh... If I can see something, I can tell. Uh... First aid box? Yeah. Doors. Ink ribbons. Alright, and now I don't... Oh, wait, there's something back here? Oh, herb. Alright. Item box. Oh. Oh, that's just a first aid kit. Might as well put it back on. Jesus Christ, I have a lot of heals. By the way, that door handle that said it was like old and rusty and shit, it broke. I can't go through there and burn that body, so he he's gonna become a crimson head if I don't find another way in there. Oh, okay. Richard! What happened? You're wounded! <sighs> no shit! This whole place is a killing zone. Uh, there are monsters. <laughs> what did this to you? A big snake. A big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. Fuck do I get serum? Where am I now? 
Alright, so that's the type rare item box, so... And the serum is... Do, 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 do. Oh, it's that room. So anyways, um... I'm gonna cap it up here. I'll get serum the... fucking serum in the next episode. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.